All right, so let's take a look at how we can uh, learn a little bit of Python scripting for um, helping to rig our characters. Um, it also helps to build tools and all this other good stuff. So we'll go step by step. We'll keep the videos concise and um, kind of start from the basics. Right off the bat, you can see, um, if you're not sure where to get your scripting editor, you can click this little button here. I generally have mine docked to the side, so I just kind of left click and drag. And when I open up Maya, it remembers my configuration. So the first thing we want to do is import in um, a bunch of the commands and libraries and stuff that you'd ordinarily use with Mel. So let me give you an example. Uh, whenever we create a cube, so I'm going to hold shift and right click and just make a default cube. Right off the bat, and I'm holding control and scrolling the wheel in here to zoom in. But right off the bat, you can see this gives me all of the parameters in Mel for this cube. Well, the equivalent of this is um, in Python is we need to import in the command structure uh, to be able to create a polycube. So the way you do that is type in import um, Maya lowercase dot commands. And um, right off the bat, this hot, this reference here, Maya dot commands, when we go to run this script, it'll bring in that information. So for example, if we want to create, oops, if we want to uh, create the a polycube, we just do dot polycube. And then inside of these parameters is where we would adjust that cube. And we'll get into that in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit control enter and you can see that it created a polycube on the scene. What's nice is it remembers your uh, setup here. So I'm gonna paste that in here. Now. Let's say that we um, wanted to know more information about how to edit this polycube. Well, there's a nifty help feature. So let's take a look at that. And um, I'm just gonna type print. And inside of my print statement here, I'm gonna borrow this Maya commands. And actually, before I do that, I wanna show you one other thing. So we don't have to keep typing Maya commands. We can actually shorten this. And so I'm just gonna do as MC. And now uh, what I can do here is in my print statement here, I can just type in MC. And the same thing here, if I wanted to just uh, print a cube, and let me actually show you that. So I'm gonna cut that for a second and then delete this. But now when I run this, you can see using the MC, it allowed me to use a shorthand way of, instead of having to keep typing my commands. So um, what I wanna do is I want to print more information on um, the polycube. So let's get rid of these because we're not actually calling a uh, the, the object with the parameters. And I'll get into what parameters are in a second. It'll make a lot better sense. But I'm just going to type help. And then what I want help with is I need more information about this polycube. So let me zoom this out. Um, and so now when I hit control enter, you can see up here that, uh, what did I do wrong here? Uh, print MC help polycube. Oh, you know what? I forgot one of my uh, things at the end. So you can see here, we have a lot of different things like the, if we want to adjust, adjust the subdivision access um, and we notice it starts off with this edit here. So let me, um, I'm, I'm a doer. So I have, I generally have to um, just kind of do it. So let's, let's, let's edit this cube using some of these flags that it gave us. So for example, if I want to go MC dot um, polycube, and what I kept mentioning about parameters is inside of these two um, uh, parentheses here is where we can type in stuff like we want to be able to edit this guy. So edit equals true. And I want to adjust the subdivision X axis. I want to add, I don't know, like 10 cuts. And let's hit enter here, which is kind of nice that you can kind of go to the next line. And I want to go to subdivision Y, which is just this one below. And I want to do 10 cuts there. And when I run this, uh, let's see, what am I missing? Oh, um, so it doesn't, it says invalid syntax. We never defined what the, our cube is, right? So what we have to do is um, create a variable that's going to store all of this information in. So 
I'm going to name it um, Alex Cube. And I'm going to make that equal to the cube that we create here. And the first parameter needs to be the cube that we are making. And let's see, Alex cube equals mc.polycube. Alex cube here. Edit true. Uh, let's see, and invalid syntax. It could be that it's on a separate line and it doesn't like it. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I forgot a comma. There we go. And so now you can see that this new cube that we created, which is down here, has those subdivisions that we asked for. 